Hey, hey guys, today we're gonna to be working on an NA Cubic Cobra Max. Uh, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be doing, um, we're gonna be putting in a new heat break into this. Now, just in case I screw this up, I did go and buy a backup hot end, just in case I need it. Hope that I don't. But this is what we're installing. This little thing right here, it's a, Little heat break. I've been having some issues with um, how some of the filament's been doing. And um, well, it's time to try something different. Let's go ahead. We're going to take this Humpty Dumpty apart here and see how, where we end up. I apologize if you can hear my other printers in the background. And just in case, I'm going to take this stuff out. I'm gonna take this shroud off. There are four um, bolts in the back. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's one here, one here, one here, one down here. I technically have three in here because, well, I lost, I lost one somewhere. This isn't the first time I've had this sucker apart. Um, had some issues with the Cobra Max, and I'm hoping that I found some resolutions for them. And I'm going to be switching the software I'm using, which I'm hoping should help quite a bit. On top of the fact that, because uh, I'm going to do some other upgrades. So, all right. So, a shroud. Let's kind of get this out of the way. Ooh, it's in there. There we go. There's two bolts on top. So after you take those two out, this will still be stuck in there. <laughs> take a look. Oh, this bracket here looks like it's got two in the back. All right. That's those two. So this, I'll just kind of slide that up and out of the way. Thought did occur to me to replace this whole thing, but I did not. We'll try this sucker first. So, all right. So on the side of this, you're gonna see, let me see if I can get a zoom in here. So you're gonna see Right here, there's a couple of little holes that there's countersink, screw. I'm just gonna go in there and loosen those. Then we'll just kind of twist. Oh, <sighs> that bugger's stuck in there. Well, this could be part of my problem, why I've had problems. So we'll try to unplug this a little bit. Oh, need a little bit of elbow grease. So we got this off. It's going to look like that. Let's take a good look at it. Oh, let me back this up a little. So this is what your piece is going to look like once you get it off. So I'll take a pair of pliers. I just, maybe I need two pairs of pliers. All right, so two pairs of pliers here. So after you get this out, there'll be these two screws on the side. We're gonna wanna loosen these. It's a really hard thing to turn. It's coming. There we go. All right, guys. <clears throat> so I had to take a break. This is actually a couple days later. As you can see here, I did get um, focus here. There we go. I did get the heat break out of this. Um, recommend some vice grips to get a hold of this to get this out. But the reason it's a couple days later is I 
This is the heat break I was gonna put in. I, um, and this is the original. If you can see there, there is a size difference. So what I had to do is order a new heat break. I had to do some better research this time. Um, this is gonna actually be the right size. <clears throat> so we will go ahead and get this back in. As you can see, this fits in there really nice and flush, whereas the other one did not. So that's where we're at. So anyways, like I said, on the side here, you have these, let me see here, these holes for the countersinks. So we're gonna go ahead and get those countersinks back in there. So that, that is <clears throat> good. I accidentally took these countersinks all the way out. So we're gonna see how this uh, works. Get them back in. Shouldn't be too bad. All right. That's in there, it's nice and good. I'll take this heat block here. And we're gonna end up screwing this back in there. It's nice and easy. Threads right in. Get it in there tight. And boom. Just tighten these back up. Again, I'm doing a lot of this repair work with an iFixit kit. So let's see now. Just tighten these back up. Like I said, I also have a backup hot end in case I need it. These screws are on there tight. I'm gonna put this silicone sock on last. All right, so we're going to put this plate on first. Get that going. All right, we'll kind of move this out of the way. Something I've just noticed, you have these screws in the top, or screw holes, one on either side. You're probably gonna wanna set this countersink so that they orient correctly. So we'll loosen these countersinks. Like I said, this is a learning experience for all of us here. Mm. All right, after you have that oriented correctly, you will go in and not drop your screw and start these threads. Boom. You can plug your connections back in. Let's get this out of the way. Perfect. Cool. Now, we can get this back on now. Somehow. Ready to screw Humpty Dumpty back together. Got the front cover on here. Put this hose in. Push it down all the way. Then I have a little clip that I'll slide up under here. And that'll help to keep that locked. I will re-thread this in there. Then get this pushed in there. So we're good there. Everything's hooked up. I'm gonna put our silicone sock back on. I should probably replace that thing. But yeah. And we're ready to do a test run. Alright, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and run a benchy. And uh Let's see how it turns out. Alrighty, so Humpty Dumpty's back together. We've done a couple rounds of benches with settings. I did this one with uh, Bamboo Slicer, this one, th <clears throat> this one with Orca. Um, I obviously still have some settings to tweak. This is far, far from perfect, but we're up and running and I'm back in business of getting this thing going. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to continue to dial this in and I'll see you in the next video.